The story of Moana starts off in an exotic Polynesian island called Motunui. Long ago, a powerful demigod named Maui stole the heart of Tefiti, the goddess of the island. Not thinking about the disastrous effects that may come out of this action, the entire island of Motunui slowly begins to falter and frail. The food on the island begins to become scarce, and the villagers worry about what's to come. Moana, the daughter of Chief Tui, is a symbol of hope for the islanders, a brave young girl who is chosen by the ocean to restore the heart of Tefiti and bring the island back to its abundance. Along with her silly chicken sidekick Heihei, she journeys off to find Maui in order to get assistance in saving her people. The CG animation in this film is fantastic. If there is one thing that I cannot say enough good things about, it would be the animation of the water. It doesn't get more realistic than this. The water surrounding the island seems to be urging the audience to borrow a boat from the tribe and take a ride. The luminosity of the light reflecting onto the never-ending ocean is outstanding and is one of the best animated forms of water Disney has done. Once again, Disney did a fabulous job choosing the voice actors. Moana was voiced by Aulili Cravalho and Maui by Dwayne Johnson. The actors were fantastic and provided such a strong emotion towards the events that it truly made the audience feel that they were alongside the characters the entire time. Every song had a tropical vibe and was perfect for the scenario it was played in. The audience appreciates how none of the tunes overlapped and that each song stood out in terms of its unique message. One of the songs that captured my attention the minute it started was You're Welcome. Written by Lin-Manuel Miranda and sung by Dwayne Johnson, the song had a very catchy tune that was well worth putting on repeat. If there's one character that the audience immediately loved in the film, it had to be Baby Moana. Little Moana was so cute and captivated the audience's heart in a matter of seconds. As the audience, it made you feel like picking her up and playing with her. I loved the traditional clothing that the characters wore and how there was a glimpse of a hula dance in the beginning of the film. The movie has great moral elements throughout and puts a strong emphasis on the tribe's culture and past. However, one of the setbacks in the film was that many of the names of the characters sounded similar, like Tamatoa, Tala, Tika, which made it hard to remember which character they were talking about. Also, in the beginning of the movie, it seemed that Pua the pig would become Moana's trusty sidekick. Contrary to that idea, the audience was surprised to see Heihei the chicken aboard the ship. Although Heihei provided humor to the viewer, it would be even better if he had a role in helping Moana and Maui in their journey. Pua is again seen at the very end of the movie, which makes the audience question his role in the film. I also wish there was a longer introduction, as I became immediately immersed into the island of Motunui. I was certain that I would stay with Moana's tribe for a bit longer as I became intrigued by their culture. This is the first time Disney movie lovers are getting the taste of the Polynesian culture and this really adds to the diversity in their films. Disney definitely deserves the credit for their outstanding job. Moana was a superb movie and gets 4 out of 5 stars. Thanks for watching! For more reviews like this one, come check out our channel and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I'm Amarin and this is Heads Up Display.